Hey everybody YouTube, what's up? Uh, Megasonic Dude 10 here again. And this time I'm coming with you with a little overlook of something, or a little overview, you know, look at something that I got today. Um, this time I'm going to do it off screen because frankly, I'm indecent right now. No, I'm not naked, but I'm not wearing pants either, so. Okay, now that I've probably given you a bad mental image, let's get started on what you're looking at here. Any of you who know anything about old game systems would realize that what you're looking at here is definitely a Sega Genesis cartridge. Two of them, actually. I've got two here. You may be wondering, well, what have I got them here for? And what's with the circuit boards and the memory card and screws and all that? <clears throat> okay, first things first. We got standard Sega Genesis cartridge here. This is the Sonic 1 version. Very old, tore up, labels kind of appealing, but it still works. Then over here, we got this one. No label on it. It's blank. You can also see that I've got two holes in the in it here. I've got the wide one in the left and then a smaller one on the right side. You may be wondering, what are those for? <clears throat> well, first of all, I open it up. It's empty. Nothing inside here. It's because that this game was originally in here. It was originally inside here. This is a Sega Genesis game. It's just the standard ones that most Sega Genesis use. Just a single chip, a resistor, capacitor, and whatever the hell that thing is. Resistor or fuse of some sort. And so that's what comes in these cartridges. I've taken it out because I'm going to replace it with something else I got here. Now, by the name of the video, you probably already know what I'm doing here. And that's what this thing is. Meet the EverDrive MD. This is a flash cartridge for the Sega Genesis. It allows you to play several games. Well, shit, depending upon the size of the camera card you put in it. I'll demonstrate now by taking my micro 2 gigabyte card and sticking it into the adapter. Oop. And then sticking that in here. And there you go. If you use a 2 gigabyte card, you can hold every single Sega Genesis ROM out there. It's, you know, for your region. For US region, it's about 1.4 gigabytes for all the games. However, this thing can support up to a 32 gigabyte card, so you can store a bunch of games on it from other regions. And even cooler yet is that this isn't just for the Sega Genesis only. This works with the 32X add on. And it will play Sega Master System and Game Gear ROMs. Most of them. A few won't work. So I think that probably an 8 gigabyte card in there would probably hold all of them. Now for the button. You may be wondering what's that for? It's for a Sega Master System mode. For some reason when you have a Sega Master System game loaded on a Sega Genesis, which is typically done through a Sega Master System converter playing the real cartridge, you can't use the pause button on your Genesis controllers, so they have a pause button built into the Master System converter. Well since this supports the Master System games, the button had to be added there to do the same thing. And thus that's what the two slots here are for. I'll go ahead and move some of this out of the way, and I'll stick the circuit board in here. You can see it takes up most of the space in there and it fits. You can also see how the SD card sticks out and get a little closer there so you can see the button. Yeah. You can also see the button there. So that's that. I'll put the back on it and we'll put the screws on and we're ready to go. Oh, and this game that came out of it, I believe it's Power Rangers or yeah, I think it was Power Rangers or maybe it's Pac-Man or something. Whatever it was, it was a game that I hated, so... Get the fuck out of here. I hate you. Whatever the hell you were. So, now I'll use my cheapo screwdriver, and... We'll put my screws in, and then we'll get started. Come on. Work with me. Yeah, I'm doing this one-handed because I'm holding my microphone in the other hand. Come on, bitch. Work with me. God damn you. Yeah, that's what I thought, you bitch. Okay. Well, we got that ready to go. Ignore that. I was using it for a prop. There we go. 
I don't have a label on it since this is just a, since I the EverDrive MD I got is just the circuit board you saw. So I put it in my own game cartridge casing, which I made these cuts on, and as you can see I didn't exactly do it all that well. You can see the wide spacing around the button there, as well as around the SD card slot. So okay, I'll put the Sonic One game in a safe spot. You'll do for now. Oh, I got Sonic Two next to it over there. Okay. Well, I will pick up the computer and move it where you can get a view of my Genesis and TV, and we'll continue. Okay. Let's see if I can stay off screen for this. No, wrong way. There we go. Okay. Put it into the 32X I have on my Genesis since it'll support 32X games. I'll play one of those first. I've got the TV on. Power's on. Grab my controller. Son of a bitch. Hang on. What the crap? I don't know. Hang on. Switch controllers out. Because I'm not going to use this thing. You've probably seen it in one of my previous videos. It's my single-handed Sega Genesis controller. Just a quick 20-minute hack job. Only useful for when I'm holding the camera while making videos. So, to hell with that one. Not that one. It's glitching. Where the fuck did I throw that good controller? Yeah, you can't see it, but this room's a mess. Ah, here we go. I'll use the official six-button controller. I've also got another six-button controller here. This one is just like a six-button, but it's got turbo fire and slow-mo for all the buttons. So, but... I don't need to I don't need turbo fire or slow motion, so we'll just use this standard six button controller since it was handy. Okay, here we go. Hang on. There's my other six button controller I was after, son of a bitch. Okay, let's turn some light out so you can see. And I'm going to sneak by you. And I'll turn the TV a little bit so you can see a little bit better. Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm going to get good there. Okay, camera reorientation time, so bear with me. Yeah, I know you can see me in the video, but I don't fucking care. Shit, you still can't make it out. I know. I know what I'll do. Don't know why I didn't think of this before. I got my TV pulled apart and the back casing from it sitting here, so I'll put the back casing of the TV to use. Okay, maybe you can see that there. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, but the first option there is oops, called Play Game. Move down so you can see it. The one I highlight is Select Game, Options, Cheats, and Toolbox. Okay, a little bit about this. This first one, Play Game, it's useful for, because the way this system works is that, um, okay, you've got a main computer chip in there called a CPLD, a CPLD, Computer Programmable Logic Device. You know, Google that if you don't know what the hell that is. <sighs> Out of breath. And... The way it works is that the CPLD takes the game out of the memory card, the SD card, loads it onto a little piece of flash RAM, it's like computer RAM, and then from there that goes into a Sega Genesis for the game you play. And it's the CPLD controls all this, so 
The neat thing about this e about this flash RAM is that it will hold its charge even when power's off. You know, unlike your traditional RAM memory that in your computer that when you turn it off it dumps everything, loses all its memory in there. This will hold the game that you had flashed into it last. So that's what that does. The last game you had in there, you can just select play game and it'll play that last game you had in there. No loading. Then down here you got your select game. It opens up a browser for folders. I've got the EDMD browser. It's a directory where I have the OS and firmware for this cartridge on. The EDMD second one. This one holds all the save states for games that support the saving. Like the Sonic 3 has that SRAM save. This supports that. Then this is where I got my games. Folder 3 called Game ROM. So I'll open it up. And I've got four pages. I'll go to page 4. And down here, this one's file number 80. So, I've got 80 games in here. And probably at least 70 of these 80 games are hacked. Most of these, except for 1 or 2 or 3, are Sonic-based hacks games. And release games. You know, this one, Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, that's not a hacked game. But I just like Michael Jackson, so fuck you if you're going to rip on me for that. Because Michael Jackson composed music for Sonic 3, so fuck off. Okay. Uh, which one do I want to start with? Ooh, I know. This one is really bizarre. You'll tell this ain't no stock game. You can tell that this is a TV. Now I'm playing with my Sega Genesis. There's no doubts about that. Because I cannot create this from fake. So here we go. You look up here. Do not turn off the system with exclamation points on each type. ROM type, MD, I think that stands for Magic Drive, or maybe Mega Drive. I don't know why it'd be Mega Drive, because this is a Genesis US. Anyways, it's erasing the old game, and it's copying the new one, and it's done copying. Got the new game copied. Oh boy, Sonic 2. Yep, Sonic 2. Sonic 2, Emerald Hill Zone, and... HOLY SHIT! Talk about a major pallet hack! And a major freeze up, you motherfucker. Well, before I even turn it off, I'll hit the reset button and watch what happens. Yeah, just reset the game I got loaded. But, it's not working, so we'll just turn it off and go and turn it back on and go back to the file menu and I'll start another game. So we'll select game. This time I'll play a 32x game. Okay, this one's a 32X. In case you're wondering, it's going to be this game right here. Yes, Knuckles KIX 32X. I've got the official game cartridge. If I get over here where the fucking camera can see it. I paid 30 bucks for that on eBay. Probably a waste of money. Okay, ROM type MD, it's erased, it's copying right now. You can see the little bar, dude, dude, it's kind of hard to see, but I'm following it with my finger. Man, why the hell is this bright on this screen? <laughs> yep, we got Knuckles KIX 32X playing. Wait! Holy shit, what the fuck? That ain't, that ain't factory. Where's Marie? That's right, we're playing a hacked game on the real Mega Drive, or Genesis. So, let's play through it a little bit to prove that it works. I hate this freaking part with Knuckles. Holy shit, you got faster speed than the factory game. Ah, Rofagnik. <laughs> That's why I think of this. The music for this game is shit. I mean, I freaking hate it. The gameplay ain't that bad, but this music and sound effects is teetotal motherfucking shit. Skip that, I know how to play you, bastard. Okay. We'll just play a little bit. Come on. Big Knuckles. 
Boom, 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 Like an engine. Never hit that fucking thing before. Okay, I know that joke's getting old. Thing about it, he's like he's spinning his tires doing a burnout and then <laughs> Well, enough of that. That's proof that it works. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. I better just go through the whole thing and show you that Sonic is playable, because for all you know you're saying, well this is a standard game. And I was playing this a whole lot better earlier. God, this game music is getting on my nerves. And I never understood this whole changing time level thing here. I'm not going to get the special stage. Oh, fuck you. I guess I have to. Yeah, might as well. I'm going to be playing this game trying to clear it anyway, so... The better start I get... You know, the special stage music is the one bit of music that actually doesn't suck all that bad.
special stages are actually kind of cool because I mean it's like they got their own gravity you know every single surface it's got gravity hello yay I did it I got six of four spears And here comes the chaos ring! Okay, that was a gay thing for me to do. Now. Whoa. I think that's enough proof right there. This ain't no stock game. This is a hack I'm playing on the real Genesis. That's typically Mighty, the armadillo. You recognize him because Sonic's twirling in the same motion that Mighty does. So. See? Definitely a cool sprite of Sonic here for the game. Damn it! Fuck you. Oh well. One other thing about the EverDrive MD games like this going here that have the save function in them for the data to be saved from the SRAM or the RAM that it's saved in and be saved to the SD card as a file to load next game. You always have to hit the reset before you power it off. So reset it, then power it off, power it on, and we're back to our file menu. Let's see here. Let's play one more game. Oh shit, I forgot. Wrong fucking menu. Okay, select game. Game ROMs. Here's one that is dull. Man, game number eight. Jester's Challenge or Jest Chow. I have played this game so many fucking hours and I've never been able to fucking solve it. It's impossible. Well, it's not, but I haven't figured out the secret to it. You'll see why here in a minute. I'll do a long playthrough of it, maybe. Okay. Hang on. You know what? Before I do, I need to go get something to drink and light a smoke. Go grab me a beer. That's the nice thing about a small trailer. I'm over here in the kitchen, and yet you can probably still hear me. No doubt we'll hear the fridge start up, too. Okay. We ain't got the drink. Ugh. Yeah, I'm lonely. I'm spending a Tuesday night with you people of YouTube. Recording this video. Just waiting to hear what sort of comments you got to say on my style of videos. But I'll tell you this much, bitches. I can make videos longer than 15 minutes and upload them as it can be evidenced by the length of this video already. I have no idea how old fucking long I've been recording, but I'm sure it's past 15 minutes. <coughs> Give me a moment to light my smoke. Come on, damn you, light. There we go. Tastes good. Okay, Jester's Challenge. This is fucking insane of a game. Here we go. Do not turn off the system. ROM type MD. E Racing. I don't know if MD stands for Mega Drive or Magic Drive, because Magic Drive was a format of file for these Genesis games. But MD also stood for Mega Drive, which is what this console was known as everywhere except the US, since when they tried to release it in the US. You know, Sega Japan. MD was already registered, so they called it Genesis. 
Same thing, different names. Fuck you, whoever took the name Mega Drive in the U.S. They're copying the Jester Challenge wrong. <laughs> We're copying still. I'm blowing smoke, literally. Okay. Oh, you motherfucking piece of shit. Let's see if resetting it will fix that. Jeez, it was playing just fine earlier. It's the thing about this thing that's crazy. Okay, let's try the play game option, see if it'll load it this time. There we go. Motherfucker! I don't know if it's just... Oh, I know what the fuck it is. It's damn 32X. I'll fix that in a hurry. You ditched the motherfucking 32X and... Play the standard genesis for this. I have no idea why this thing is such... And being so shitty with the 32X on it. It is. Let's turn this maybe you won't get so much computer screen glare. Okay. Take four. Jester's Challenge. Jester's Challenge. Welcome to the Param Zone. Welcome to the Param Zone. A maze of pure confusion that's ensure, ensure, ensured to leave you tearing your hair out. Your goal. Find the exit. Time amount. Unlimited. Rings required. None. Good luck. Press start button. There's Marky Jester himself, the guy who made this game. Let me tell you, he really is quite the jester to make something like this to piss everybody off. I mean, I'm a genius, and I still haven't ever solved this fucking game. Maybe in 30 minutes or so, I'll solve it. You push the B button, and you see Marky Jester, and he'll tell you which way to go. And he's going to tell me to go over here. I hit that, and it changes the maze. I know you don't need rings, but I want them because... Well, without the rings, there's no lives, and when I die, I start over from the beginning, and I don't fucking want that. It's got a lot of base to it. Yeah, he's gonna tell me to go down. What the fuck? Oh. I thought it was floating. That one was floating, what the fuck? Floating monitor. Hey, I was already here, bastard. <laughs> How do you like that? Music is kind of off, but it may be because of the Genesis. I don't know if you can hear it, but I can. No, damn it. Hello. Watch. He's going to say, go to the right. What'd I fucking tell ya? Er, dead end. Mm. Take that. <laughs> Floating bad name. Whoa. Lava! Uh, broom. Go up! You know what? Fuck him, I know it says to go up. Oh no, that was pathetic. <laughs> Catchy music. No, damn it, damn it. Come on, there we go. Damn it! Hello! Oh, 
Look at that. The ice froze everything and changed the music. Go right. You see Sonic there? The ice on his breath? It's cool. You can see all the little ice. And a little frost blowing off of him. Jeez, you can't hardly see shit like this. Okay, I know I'm going the right way. I think I'm going the right way. Yeah, I remember that area. Yep, I'm on the right track so far. Too bad you can't stack shields up like in some other game hacks. Maybe wondering why didn't I hit the monitor back there? Simple. Because if I did, it would have screwed the game up. This is new to me, so we're getting further. Hang on. Okay. Okay, so I gotta go up. Let's see which way to go now. Of course. Nope, that's not it. Hang on, I got an email. Holy shit, three. Well, okay, well. Music's kinda laggy. Is there anything? Yeah. Don't tell me I fucking messed up. I sure as fuck did. the hell? Yeah. Hang on. I gotta check this email. Oh, it's about something that I was trying to do few days ago, nothing there. And I got speedy shoes. What the fuck? I'm right back here! No, I don't think so. I'm lost. I'm fucking lost. Yep. Try going this way. Oh, well, that's a dead end. Well, I can't go this way. 
Or that way. I've been this way already. And this way. Fuck you, Marky Jester. You ain't no help to me now. Son of a bitch, I was already here. Ah, uh, let's see. Finally, back to normal. Earth, broom, broom. Come on. And uh, there's a new one on me. I don't know if I want to change it or just keep going. I probably do need to change it. I don't want to hit that. Son of a bitch, I was already here. Come on, you fucker. Damn it. This is about the point I always get lost in. Uh, let's try going this way. Here we go. Yep, now we're over here. And dead end, fucker. Dead end. Dead end. This is the way we went. Wait, what the fuck? Never seen that one before. See what I mean? I've played this game many a times, but I always discover something new every time I play. Good a life would do me there. Die. I've already been this way. Another useless shield. 
Can't go that way. Ooh, a ring. Fuck it. What the hell? I thought I saw something. Guess not. Ah, shit, this. You know what? The hell with that. No, I didn't reset because this one has no save state. Let's try that STH again. We'll flash it. You know what? I'm a cheater. 1965 9 17 start Hold A, press start. Come down here. Enter 4 1 2 And just approved that that was a code entry. That's the sound six. And now for the last code. One. Nine. Nine. God damn you. Two. One. One. Two. Four. That code right there is debug mode. Yeah, 1992 11 24. The day that this game was released. Hold A. Press start. And... Hello, Pallet Hack, and look, debug mode. Maybe this time it won't fuck up, since we're playing it without the 32X. Beeping. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Now watch this. Boom! Supersonic! Holy crap, look at Sonic! I don't know if you can see the mismatched colors. Shit! Whee! Yay, continue! Hello. Vroom. Man, I mean, just look at the color palette hack here. That's freaky. So much blue. It looks like the guy made this in Microsoft Paint. And we're there already. Jeez, look at that. There's like red, green, blue on Super Sonic. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Holy shit! This is the first time I've ever played this freaking game, so... Yeah, we're discovering this together, folks. Oh, fuck you!
Man, there's just nothing quite astounding as playing a game hack on the real Sega Genesis. Wouldn't you agree, folks? And of course, there seemed to be some glitching with this game. Ah, fuck it. Wait, why the fuck am I doing this? I could just do that shit right there. And just because I'm an asshole? Okay, fine. Hello, I'm back. Nah, airwalk. Whoever made this pallet hack of this... Fuck you! Whoever made this game, this palette hack of a game, must have liked blue. Okay, before I log off, I have one more game I want to show you. Another hack, and this one's my favorite. You guys remember Sonic Heroes? Yeah, that game in 2003 for the GameCube, PS2, and PC, too, and... I don't think they had it for the original Xbox, but yeah, you remember that game? Well, check. Dope. Check this out. Uh, here we go. We're flashing it in. You're going to flip over this. For those of you like me who rather like the way the Sonic Heroes game play was with the character layout and who loved the classic Genesis era games. Oh shit, I probably gave it away already, but you just wait and see. Mmm. Bia. I don't know if you caught that or not, but you saw three characters run by. Check this shit out. Look at that. I'm playing the Sonic right now. Watch what happens when I push the A button. Boop! I'm Tails now. I push again. Boop! I'm Knuckles. I can also use the X button for six button controllers to go backwards. See, A button makes them go this way, X button makes them go this way. Look at that, Sonic's got the inertia shield from Sonic 3, and I think he's got Sonic 3 sprites too. Watch this. You use this, you get the standard shield, Sonic gains his special homing attack. There's other shields in here too. Oh, here's another cool feature. Push up and... Just like Sonic CD. It's kind of hard to... Oh, that fucking was insane. Vroom. 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 You know what? Let's start over. Think I can do it in 30 seconds or less? No cheats. I've already fucking messed up. I've fucking messed up. Come on. It's the cool thing about just resetting it. It resets the current game into Flash on the EverDrive. Oh, come on, you fucker! Okay, well, I still gain speed by doing that. God damn, I would have done it. Let's try it one more time before I just play the game on.
There we go, now we're doing it with a little bit more speed. Fuck you! Alright, you know what? Fuck it. I too let this sped run this zone and I forgot how fast I did, but it was fast. Their standard game is just the same, so I'm just going to skip through to the important parts where the changes are noticeable. Uh. Damn it. 1965. 9. 17. Okay. <clears throat> I'm a super cheater, so I'm going to enable all the cheats. That's right, the standard cheats work on this too. One. One nine nine two one one two four. We'll start at Sky Chase Zone, and you'll see where the difference is with the three with Sonic Tails and Knuckles being there take effect. Because if you remember in Sonic Two, Sky Chase Zone, Tails was flying the plane. Well, if Tails is there, then maybe Knuckles fly the plane. No, fuck no, he can't, cause he's there too, so... Who the fuck's flying the plane? Let's see. Oh my god, Amy Rose! And check this out. Supersonic and... We are the super team now. <laughs> we will go and fuck you up if you try to mess with us. We will fuck you and now... I don't know. We are the super team. We go and fuck. We go and fuck up enemies. Send them to straight to hell. We don't give no two shits. If you look at us wrong way, then we will fuck you up so bad. Yeah, that's right, dude. I'm making this up as I go, and as you can tell, it's bad. Get the fuck out of my way now. I don't give two shits about you anymore. Why the fuck are you looking at me that way? Let's get this shit and get the fuck out. We need to get this shit done now today. Da. Boom. Okay, I'll quit trying to make a song out of this. Hello. Hundred percent enemy kill rate. Look at the, how fast they move. Now. See ya, Amy. Fuck off, you annoying bitch. Life! Look at that. That's another change. They changed the flames, the shields. You saw the flame shield there. Oh, like, I need a speed show when I'm supersonic. Let's be super tails. I'm probably gonna need that fucking life. Yeah, right. Not when I start each level with 100 rings and superpowers. Vroom! One slight problem with this setup. You'll notice ever so often that there's a bit of a lag in the gameplay. What the fuck? Airwalk. Oh, yeah, this is another thing I forgot to tell you about. Look at that. Tails can fly and carry them just like Sonic Heroes. Bye-bye, assholes. 
Dum, dum, dum. I'm gonna cheat. I'm a cheater. Well, you know something? I play games for the enjoyment, not for no fucking competition. Hello, Sonic! Now fuck off! I wonder if I can get up here. I don't think I can. Alright, let's go fight Ro Rofatnik. I'll fight him as Sonic. Look at that, the shields are functional. Hey, heroes! God damn it, I thought that he would die! Why won't that bitch die? Seriously, I hate Amy Rose, the way the Sega portrays her. Just wrong. Yay, we're going to space. We sa going into space, man. Which is how we do what we do. Yeah, I'm quoting Sonic Rap by Dwayne and Brando. Boom! Look at that fat man. He can run, can he? Check this out. Cheat powers are a go. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. Boom! I think I did that in what? Under a minute? 30 seconds? I don't. I wasn't looking at the timer, maybe you were. Off, oh, they had to do that to the artwork. Son of a bitch. Air face. Uh, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing in this plane. Can you just tell me how to fly? Maybe I do know how to fly. Fuck, I hope I don't crash the plane. Team Trio Super Trio! Golden Flickies! You know, I notice that a lot of people make fun of Knuckles for flashing pink like he does when he's super. Hey, alright, it shows up right the ending. A lot of times on the computer, the other, the two on the outside don't show up for some reason on emulators, but real card where it is. And these are the hackers who hack the game for you oh ice knight he's the guy who made that other one that's playing the blue game now we're back to the regular credits so let's just let it run through and then I want to show you the last difference at the end and that's the major differences of the game here. Most of it's the same other than just swapping out the, a lot of the standard monitors for ones from Sonic 3, like the bubble shield, the magnet shield, the flame shield, as you saw. You know, those are all in there. A few other small changes, like music changes, sound effects changes, things like that. And of course, the Sonic Tails and Knuckles play trio play at once, like Sonic Heroes. 
uh, tails flying and carrying the other two. That's been added in, of course. And Sonic has his Sonic CD style spin dash thing or spin red, rev spin. I don't know what the hell you call it. That's been added as well as his homing attack when you have the standard shield. And those are the standard changes I can think of. dreams come true yeah this is a dream come true since the guy who's hacked this flame wing he's making this taking this game the next step I'm making a Sonic 1 2 and 3 heroes I forget what he's planning to call it Sonic Generations heroes no Sonic classic heroes look out for that game I know I want to get it if he ever finishes it Wing. I should have hacked that. How do you like the logo? Sonic the Hedgehog 2, and then they added Heroes! Okay! I think that's enough of a review for the EverDrive MD. I've had a few bugs with it, but I think that was due to playing a 16 bit game through the 32X add on. Solved that. So, freaking long video. Hope you enjoy. Good night, goodbye, you have